we'll show you the little layout here's the wheel and these are the brushes that i'm going to use this is what i get to get like in between all the spokes here in this area you know like in these crevices and this is what i get um used to get like inside the i hate life bro What is going on guys welcome back to the channel in today's video i'm going to be walking you all through how to actually detail these wheels on the zl1 because unfortunately if y'all don't know much about them they have a bunch of spokes on them and they're just a pain to clean i actually just washed the whole car yesterday washed the wheels and everything but unfortunately there's still a bunch of dirt on them and grime so i'm gonna basically walk y'all through and show y'all what i do to detail these wheels i haven't done it yet on this car but i used to do it a lot on my ss so um yeah let's get straight into it all right so to actually do this process um, I know some of y'all probably do this already, but we're actually going to take the wheels off of the car themselves. So you already know we got to jack it up and I already got the boards underneath. I actually already got this side already jacked up and pretty much ready for us to start. Um, remember you always got to loosen your lugs before you jack it up. Jack it up, take off the lugs completely. Good to go. Always have a jack stand like I always point out in my videos. Um, just in case, because you never know, we're gonna have the wheel off. You never want something to go wrong. You wanna take the wheel off, take it over um, outside, rinse it down, clean it, and I'll show you all the products that we use. Start right here and just give it like just a quick little few sprays here. Grab our brush here, give it a spray or two, and just uh, like I said, I use this from the from the other side, and as you can see, it gets it gets all the way to the end. But um, sometimes under or behind these little spokes and stuff like that, it doesn't get it too well. And we'll probably see after we're done here to um, take a look at the actual brush and see how damaged it is. All right, you guys, so we got back end done. Brush actually, as you can see, it, it's kind of black, but it's on the, it's a lot better probably because of uh, me cleaning it yesterday. But usually that thing is like pitch black, bro. Like no lie. Flip it back over. And give the face a good little spray. Give that a spray. And honestly, just kind of take our time with it, you know? And I got this this like brush set I think at AutoZone or O'Reilly's it was one of the one of the two um, but honestly it comes with like this bigger one and it comes with a medium one and then a small one um, so if you I don't know if you got like more intricate like spokes or something like that you can probably go for the medium one um, or maybe even a smaller one if you really need to which I don't see how that would how that would work what kind of wheels you got but hey each wheel is different so you never know but uh, I honestly really like the uh, I really like the brush set because it was I think it was like seven dollars and it comes with three brushes and I had one I had a set when I first got the car and it lasted me a few months honestly but like as you can see it's starting to like flare out this is a new brush set that I got probably about three months ago now so it's starting to show its age especially with these freaking wheel spokes man they're obnoxious man they're so obnoxious it doesn't make sense to me but it's like one of my favorite parts of the car whenever it's like fully clean this color like gunmetal color whatever it is absolutely fantastic and it's got these like little rubber ends here so it doesn't damage your, your spokes another reason why this thing is honestly really great
where your hand starts cramping. Just doing one freaking wheel. And we got a whole four to do, so yay. And I'm gonna let that sit in the sun for a few seconds. And then we got, I got a towel specific just for the wheels, as you should. You should never cross your uh, towels. Y'all probably know this, but don't cross your towels from car to, to wheels, interior towels, window towels, stuff like that. But wheels for sure, wheels and tires, keep them absolutely separated from everything. Um, I'll show you all my setup here. So this is what I usually use for like, cleaning the tires themselves or like inside the door sills whenever I wash the car and this one and this one are usually for wheels which I kind of prefer this one just because it seems to absorb a little bit more and it's like one of those waffle weave towels and it's just super nice and I've had it for years now or that style towel for years now for the wheels and they they've actually they've worked perfectly for me so that's what I'm gonna keep going with the wheel looks absolutely phenomenal like compared to what it was like it wasn't too dirty but like um after washing it because i spent i spent longer cleaning my wheels yesterday than i did just now this just takes a lot more time because you got to jack the car up take the wheel off and stuff like that but honestly like this this is worth the the little bit of extra time to get them that much cleaner all right guys so like a little almost like before and after you can kind of see like the little bit of like dirtiness in here it kind of just like a little bit of grime and stuff like that right on the edge Right here and on the inside for sure, like the inner barrel um, looks a lot worse. But uh, if you just compare it to the finished product, like dang, bro. Like even up close, freaking flawless, so sick. Absolutely worth the <laughs> little bit of extra time that it, it takes to jack one of these cars up. All right, you guys, so we just got wrapped up, got all the wheels back on, and they look absolutely freaking phenomenal I mean I showed it to you out there but god they just look so good uh, I'm probably about to pull it out there so you can see it in the Sun so you can actually see how nice and clean these wheels are because I mean even in here though like look at that it's like shining with absolutely like no light on it but um, yeah it's absolutely clean don't mind why the hood is popped that's gonna be another video that will probably come out before this or maybe after I don't really know should be before though but um, Anyways, the wheels are all good, tightened up, all your lugs and all that. So that's pretty much going to wrap up the video. I'm going to pull it out so y'all can see it like really good in the sun though. Alright guys, the sun is actually out now. I swear I just put down the camera, but here it is. Freaking looking good. Look at that. Dude, these wheels are absolutely sick. I love the, I love the finish on these things. I, I just I love the color like I never I never really cared about the color until I got the car and like seeing the color all cleaned up and everything with these brake uh, caliper cover uh, colors I don't know why but to me it's just like one of my favorite parts of the car and I think it looks absolutely phenomenal especially when it's all cleaned up um, probably one of my favorite parts of the car but yeah there we go finally I was able to show you I've been trying to freaking wait for the Sun to come up for like 30 minutes now it hasn't been wanting to come up I made a whole outro we're just gonna redo it um, yeah, like I said, it is a little bit of an intricate job, um, but that's up to y'all if y'all want to try it or not. Obviously, with these six gens, you got to jack it up uh, per side and all that, so it's a little bit of a hassle. On my V6, I used to be able to just jack it up in the front and the back, do all four wheels. I used to do that like every other month. Um, my SS, I did like three or four times within the year and a half that I owned it, so really not often at all. This car, I think I'm going to try to stick to doing maybe two to three times a year, so every few, like four or five months, 
Uh, maybe, I don't know how, we'll, how I'll do it. But uh, I'd recommend y'all probably do the same, especially if you drive a lot. Um, taking off the wheels, cleaning the insides, just to make sure that there's no like stains in it and stuff like that, just in case you want to sell it or whatever. Definitely preserve your wheels. Like I said, it takes a little bit of time, but like on a weekend or something like that, you should find the time to be able to do it and obviously get your car looking good. I wouldn't do it more than like a few times a, or every few months because it's just like a hassle, like I said, unless you just unless you just enjoy it or unless you go to car shows often, then you'd probably want to do this method because cleaning it just like this is nice, but like taking off the wheel and getting into every little uh, intricate spot is a lot easier. And cleaning the calipers um, is a big plus in my book because these calipers are huge. These six pistons, even the four pistons are a bit hard to get to with all the spokes, but these six pistons make it a breeze without the wheel in the way, obviously with all the spokes. Um, but yeah, I think that's gonna do it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, be sure to leave a like and comment down below if this either helps you out or if you tried it before um, or you have if you haven't tried it before and let me know if you want to try it and if you have let me know what you thought uh, down below be sure to leave a like be sure to comment uh, be sure to subscribe and turn those bell notifications on we'll see you in the next one rs ss22 z01 slide and a rainbow coupe saw your bitch mouth drop what it do worry about